Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave and optical communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about wavelength division multiplexing. In short, we can also call it as WDM. Okay. So this wavelength division multiplexing is one of the famous and important concept over optical fiber communications. So as I've already said, WDM is an abbreviation for wavelength division multiplexing, and it is one of the most widely used technology for the high capacity optical communication systems. Okay. So generally it will be having a one transmitting side, receiving side, and at the transmitting side, we can find one multiplexer. And at the receiving side, we will find another uh, demultiplexer. Okay. So in between the transmitting multiplexer and demultiplexer and the receiving end, we'll find an optical fiber cable connecting these two modules, okay? So at the transmitting end, multiple optical transmitters will be there. Each will be emptying a different frequency or a different signal with different wavelengths, okay? All these individual signals are multiplexed by using a wavelength multiplexer. In short, we call it as MUX. Once all the signals of different wavelengths are multiplexed into a single signal, the multiple signals are then transmitted over an optical fiber cable, okay? So once the optical fiber cable, uh, the signal has been transmitted and at the receiver end, the signals are demultiplexed uh, using a demultiplexer or a DMUX based on the wavelengths and are sent to multiple receivers, okay? This is the overall concept. Coming to the diagram, we can see several transmitters each transmitter, this is transmitter 1 of lambda 1, transmitter 2 having lambda 2, and transmitter 3 having lambda 3, transmitter 4, lambda 4, transmitter 5, lambda 5. These are several transmitters which are transmitting uh, signals of different wavelengths, okay? And you can see a multiplexer over here. All these wavelengths are combined into a single signal. And these multiplexed or mixed signals are transmitted over a transmission line which we are considering it as optical fiber cable and this through this optical fiber cable or the transmission line the d the signal goes to the demultiplexer where the demultiplexer demultiplex the signals according to the uh, wavelengths so all these signals will be received by its respective receivers based on it different wavelengths okay Coming to the advantages and main uh, uh, these things, uh, one of the primary advantage of using WDM technology is reducing the number of fi fibers used in the main transmission line. Okay, so using a single optical fiber transmission line or a single optical fiber cable, we want to transmit the multiple transmitter signals uh, up to hundreds and thousands of kilometers, okay? So what happens when you use only a single cable means the cost and uh, um, uh, manufacturing of the uh, cables will be uh, becoming easy. Suppose we take multiple uh, optical fiber cables for multiple transmitters, okay? The manufacturing will be complex. The cost of the fiber installation gets increased, everything, right? So using a basic concept called multiplexing and demultiplexing based on this particular uh, different wavelength with respect to transmitter and the receiver. If you are using a single optical fiber, it will be very much, uh, we can install the whole thing uh, very much in a less cost and the manufacturing uh, burden will also be reduced, okay? So, so for a longer distances, there is a single cable in order to transmit all this technology. So using the wavelength division multiplexing technology, number of fibers in an optical cable can be reduced and the number of wavelength multiplexer and demultiplexer basically remains the same, okay? No matter how the transmission distance is, okay? So for that reason, especially the WDM is very much famous and advantages for a transmission uh, distance for uh, becoming longer okay so that's why the wdm concept or the wdm uh, uh, concept is integrated into an optical fiber cables thank you